Are you ready to go for a boat ride? So a couple days have passed. Pepper and I are back at Silk Coos. <clears throat> With the 17 by 54 drift boat. This time I'm going to be testing out my old uh, saltwater Minn Kota. This is a 45 pound with the uh, digital, uh, so it doesn't have separate speeds. It's a uh, continuous variable speed. Uh, I've got a brand new 50 amp lithium iron phosphate battery right there. I've got a voltmeter on it. Just like you carry an extra fuel tank for gas, I went ahead and threw my 200 amp hour uh, battery in. So if I want to drain that guy in the back 100% to dead, I won't be rowing back to the boat launch. South end of Booth Island. Uh, winds eased up a little. We got a little shelter here. Switch back to the uh, 50 amp hour battery. I'm running three quarters, so 75%, and just clicking along at three. Three miles an hour. This seems to be the optimum for this motor. Uh, three quarters and three. We'll see what it does when I turn and when I'm running back with the wind behind me. But uh, so far, 45 pound Minn Kota. Looks like it'll run three miles an hour pretty good. Four at the most. South end of Silk Coos. Just went by Rocky Point right there. And uh, the wind's taking a little break, which is what the forecast said. So what I'm doing now is clicking across towards Fiddle Creek Arm. I'm at three quarters. So 75% on the Minn Kota. Little uh, 50 amp hour is powering it real good. I'm still reading 12 and a half uh, draining at, uh, at this rate. And that hasn't changed in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, well, I'll tell you, these drift boats get blown around by the wind more than a kayak. Coming up to the bridge, up the Fiddle Creek Arm, still running 75%, right on three miles an hour, and same distance as before, three miles from the boat launch to here. Battery's not showing any change in voltage, still giving the 12 and a half. Uh, when I'm at three quarters, if I kill the motor, looks like it's coming back up to 13. Go back to three quarters. Head on up the Fiddle Creek arm. There's where the coho head, right over there. So we're going to do a turn. And run with the wind behind us. Right at three quarters throttle. And back to three. Head back down and across the east side of Silk Coos. 50 amp batteries holding up good. If you're not familiar, these uh, lithium iron phosphates are amazing. This little guy is, uh, I think it's about 10 or 11 pounds and uh, it can drain at a rate of 50 amps so you could drain it in an hour uh, 
Maple Creek Arm. <coughs> and there's the nightingales. <coughs> there's a hungry puppy. One of my favorite places to play with Coho in the fall is right up here. All right. Well, let's zip around, run back over to the boat launch. We are coming across the north end here. That would be uh, Darling over that way. And uh, what we have learned today is that uh, the 45 pound Minn Kota at 75% <clears throat> throttle runs this drift boat right at three miles an hour. And if you go wide open, you can get it to four, but that's really about it. Um, good option to have a fun day on the lake and uh, I think a 50 amp hour even though I didn't uh, I've been running on the 200 quite a bit and it had made a dent in this guy but I think the 50 amp hour <clears throat> would give you a pretty good day of fun out on a lake or uh, certainly on a drift for a little bit of forward or backward thrust a quick wrap up here at home so this big battery uh, was reading, I think, 13.4 when we left. So uh, four or five miles on it. And this little one uh, wasn't fully charged. Uh, it was reading 13.2. So we took a couple tenths off it. I'm going to guess I might have used half of the uh, 50 amp hour and almost nothing there. And hey, wait. Is that my Hobie Outback with an extra seat mounted in the back? Oh, geez.